What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video we're taking a look at Space Marine 2 and its customization and everything on how it works. Now there's a lot of different pieces and stuff going on with this so bear with me as I try to go over everything. But there is a difference between your armor set and your Astartes chapters. Both of these are kind of connected and they aren't separate. So when you see custom armor set down here at the bottom, it's actually going to mean the actual armor pieces that your armor suit is wearing. When you go into the Astartes chapter, it's actually going to be your color pattern, what kind of colors you want to have, basically which chapter pattern you want to use type of things going on here. And so, for example, if I click on Blood Angels and I go to my armor sets, you can see that all the armor sets are going to have Blood Angel color pattern on them. If I go to the Iron Hounds, you can see they all have the Iron Hounds color patterns on them. So that's how that works there. So even though this says custom armor set, it's really just referring to the colors that will be on your main armor set. And what you want to do is edit the heraldry rules. So if we go into heraldry rules, we see custom rules. Now this is going to be probably as time consuming as painting an actual model, maybe less time consuming, I'm sure, but it does take time to get all of your pieces together, especially if you want each piece to be unique and separate and different. In your custom rules, you can have both right and left pauldrons, your breastplate on the front and back can be different shades, your comp right and left gauntlets can be different, left right greaves can be different. And that's what this is really referring to. Let's see, I can put an emblem on here. And then I can change the color of the emblem that I have on there. So there's really like a lot of a lot of work that can be done with this with this and then you can do it for like all of it you can keep going down keep adding anytime you want to delete you just hover over it click delete rule and it goes away your main general rules don't change general rules just encompass your main color and the uh offset color and your emblem color we can go back and take a look at my other one that i have here so i just decided to be lazy with and just change uh my chest I don't know what this was. It says helm, but there's nothing here. And then my breastplate. This is a black red. We got the gold on the trim. And that's pretty much what we did with, with most of it. Kept it pretty simple. And when I go back to my armor sets, you can see that they all keep the same armor color. Now, what about the heretics? If you go into the heretics, you can do the same thing. They don't have a lot of armor sets to pick from, really. But if we go into the chapters, there are various chapters. If I click this chapter, you can see it changes what the armor set is. Or you can have your own custom color pattern based off of the colors that you unlocked in the heraldry, which we'll go to here in a second. But I do want to go back and look at the other heretic classes real quick for you. So you edit armor. And you see when you go back, it doesn't, it doesn't keep you in there. So you can only do it when you're in that class all right so let's take a look at a heraldry heraldry is where you get all of your various colors and even some armor pieces and some icons from you'll use these requisition points like right now i have 80 to unlock things and the uh heraldry unlock your colors uh, decals even armor pieces as you can see here if i go into the this one it unlocks a helmet or the Omega Marines unlocks a shoulder piece if I go all the way down and how it works is you start from one part of the top like if I click this one and unlock this emblem for 30 then the next one will unlock if I get that one the next one unlock so you have to get them in order uh, there isn't really anything special for getting all four of them <laughs> except you've unlocked the whole class finally and you'll be able to have that here in your uh, chapter section so even if it says DLC, you still have to go and unlock it. It's not just like it's unlocked automatically. You have to still pay the in-game currency the re to unlock those colors. The armor set and the colors sets unlock for the operations mode, but the PVE and PVP is different when it comes to your weapons. Before we jump over to the weapons, I do want to show you this here. If you got the Ultra Edition, you'll notice that it came with something called the Ultramarine Champion Skin. Now it's very uh, particular in what it said with Ultramarine. That means it's just gonna be for the Ultramarines. 
and it's gonna be for a specific class. And this one is the Ultramarine Champion for the heavy class, and it's a unique skin. That means that you can't change any colors for it whatsoever. So for example, if I go to Blood Angels here, you can see all the sets for Blood Angels are red, except the Ultramarine Champion. It stays its color. If I try to click over, you can see it says currently equipped armor set does not support coloring. So you can't color it and you can't customize it either. It is what it is. No champion skin cannot be customized. With that said, I want to take a look at the weapons real quick. You look here at your weapons. It'll tell you what you need to unlock. This says when 16 matches with this weapon in eternal war mode to unlock. And so that kind of works for all of them when four matches with this weapon, when 16 matches with this weapon. So each weapon you're gonna have to go through and win matches and then you'll be able to use your, your requisition points to buy that skin once you unlocked it. You get requisition points from just playing the game, from playing the game. Let's switch over here to PVP mode or PVE mode, operations mode. So now we see we're in operations mode and if you notice our stuff, well, this is set up here because I was messing with it earlier, but our armor stuff isn't really set up automatically. You have to kind of go in and fix it. Even though it's, I said set up is different than what my armor was in the PVP mode. So each piece is set up differently for each mode. Operations mode and PVP mode have different settings. So you have to go in and do all that stuff over again. And the weapons unlock differently as well. As you level up, you can see that you get perks and stuff to is like a perk tree to level up your class and get more bonuses and passes. And the weapons also have uh, different kind of versions where they uh, unlock as you level up in the mode and then you'll be able to buy the weapon skins that way. That is how that works with the weapons. But everything else works the same, like the heraldry still works the same where you have to unlock the custom colors to get your heraldry going on and stuff like that. So that's the quick and dirty of the armor customization and stuff in Space Marine 2. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you out. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.